All right, so we're looking at the product of two binomials. What happens when we multiply two binomials? Now, you might wonder, what is a binomial? Well, a binomial is basically two terms, a two-term expression. So let's say we have five plus four. That's a binomial. We have two terms. It's a two-term expression. And so what happens when we multiply one binomial by another binomial. Let's say we have two plus one. What should we get should we multiply these two binomials together? Well, there are several methods we could use. Uh, we could say, okay, five plus four, that will give us what? Nine. And two plus one, that will give us three. So what we have is nine times three. You might wonder, where did the times come from? Well, you see, when we have two brackets and the content in that bracket is against another content in brackets as well. We are multiplying the content of both brackets together. So we are seeing these content here, once we simplify, we'll multiply these content here. So nine will multiply three. And when we multiply nine by three, what do we get? We get 27. Now, this method is quite easy to understand because you always work out the parentheses or the brackets first, right? Yeah, we know that. But is there another method that we could use? Well, it might seem irrelevant to want to use a different method, but there will come a time when we might want to use a different method. And so let's look at that other method. The other method is taking this 5 and multiply by these guys here. Then take this four and multiply by these guys as well. So let's do that now. We're gonna take the five and multiply it by the two plus one. And then we're gonna take the four, the positive four that is, and multiply it also by the two plus one. And let's see what we get, okay? Now, we're gonna resist wanting to simplify within the brackets. We know out of operations do bracket first, but we're just checking for a different method. We are looking at using what we call the distributive law. And the distributive law states that multiplication is distributive over addition or subtraction. So we're adding the content in the brackets. So we're going to distribute by multiplication with the term outside. So 5 times 2, and then we say 5 times 1. Then we go to the plus 4, and we say 4 times 2, then 4 times 1. And we want to see if the answers that we get when we add them we'll get 27 let's go five twos 10 five times the one that's five then let's go to the four now four times two that give us a positive eight and four times the one that gives us a positive four now 10 plus five that's 15 and eight plus four that's 12 and when we add them together look at here we get 27 same answer and look at all that work that we did just to get the same 27 well this method over here is the order of operation. This one over here is just using distributive law. But why did I show you this method? Well, the reason why I showed you this method here was look at let's look at this example over here. We have 3x plus 11 within the bracket, the first bracket, our pair of brackets. And in the second pair of brackets, we have 4x plus 5. The truth is, we cannot use the order of operations method. We cannot simplify within the brackets because we could say five plus four give us nine and two plus one give us three and multiply the answers. But look, three X plus 11, can we add them? No, why not? Because they're on like terms. So what we have to do is to go ahead and utilize this method over here, expanding using distributive property. In other words, remove the brackets and then simplify our answer. We cannot use the out of operation method because we have unlike terms within the brackets. So we're going to multiply this binomial by this binomial using the distributive law. So we're going to take the 3x, that's what we're going to take this 3x and then multiply it by what? The 4x. Let's do that. Let's do that now. 3x times 4x will give us what? The 3 times the 4 will give us 12 for sure. And the x times the x will give us x squared. Are we finished with 3x? No. We're going to take the same 3x again 
and multiply by what next the 5 and 3x times 5 will give us 15x now are we done with the 3x yes because we just took the 3x and multiplied it by 4x then take the 3x again and multiply it by 5 you might say well that is a little different than what we did over here not really let's look at exactly what we did over here let's go back to the 5 here we took the 5 right and we put it here and then we said what this same 5 will multiply by the 2 plus 1 so it's 5 times the 2 let's go all right just clean this up a bit so it's 5 times the 2 and then 5 times 1 just like we say 3x times the 4 3x times the 5 we went 5 times the 2 and 5 times the 1 but what I did was actually to put it here neatly by saying to take the 5 and put the 2 plus 1 right here okay so we did say 5 times the 2 5 times the 1 5 times the 2 5 times the 1 but rather than taking it out the bracket and then put the, this bracket here what I did over here was simply to keep it in the bracket and just distribute it that way. So it's a little faster. Okay, so now you understand what I did. 3x times the 4x and then 3x times the 5. And then I went to what? I went next to the 4 here. And what did I do? I said 4 times the 2 and then 4 times the 1. It's right here. Check it out. Right? This 4 right here. We said... 4 times the 2, 4 times the 1. 4 times the 2, 4 times the 1, which gives us 8 and 4 respectively. So we're going to do the same thing over here. So we take the positive 11, and we're going to say what? 11 times the 4x, 11 times the 5. Okay? So 11 times 4x, that will give us what? 44x. And 11 times the 5 will give us 55. Okay, let's go again. 11 times the 4, 44. 11 times 5, 55. Okay, good. But what you want to note here is that when we multiply 11 by 5, there's no x on it because there was no x in 11 and there's no x in 5. So we should have no x in our product, 55. We have, a, we have 11 multiplied by 4x. Only 4x has an x. And so we only have one x in the product of 11 and 4x, which is 44x. Okay. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to simplify the middle terms because those are where we have the like terms. They're the x terms. So we have 12x squared. This is our x squared term. But the x terms, we're going to add them now. 15 plus 44 will give us what? What is 15 plus 44? That's 59. So that's 59x. And we'll put back the 55. Now, can we add these guys here? No, because these are all what? Unlike term, right? All unlike terms. And so this is our solution. Okay. Now, I'm going to do something here. Just in case you're saying, okay, I don't like this method. Um, I prefer when we actually take the 3x outside the bracket and the 11 out of the bracket. No problem. So let's do that right now. We're going to take this 3x. And put it outside a bracket and what we're going to do we're going to collect this 4x plus 5 and put it here so the 4x plus 5 and then we're going to take this 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 11 here and put it outside a bracket we'll put it as plus 11 and then multiply it also by the 4x plus 5 so it's the same thing that we're really doing so what we're saying is the 3x times 4x 3x times 5 which I did earlier, 3x times 4x, 3x times 5. So it's the same thing we're doing here, 3x times 4x, 3x times 5. Realize the same thing we're doing? So we can actually skip this step. But we're not doing that here, so we're going to just put our answers. 3x times 4x, that's going to give us 12x squared. 3x times 5, that's going to give us 15x. We could have done it here, 3x times 4x, first step, give us 12x squared. And 3x times 5, that's the, our second step, will give us the 15x. But by using this step, we're taking the 3x, put it outside the bracket, 
and put the 4x plus 5 there. So we can actually do the same thing. Then we're going to go to the plus 11, and we're going to multiply positive 11 by 4x, positive 11 by 5. Which is what we're saying here, positive 11 by 4x, positive 11 by 5. So it's just repetition. Um, 11 times 4x will give us 44x. 11 times 5, that will give us 55. And then we're going to put the 12x squared, put it back. And we're going to simplify the middle term since those are the like terms, which we got was 59x. Let me provide the 55. Now, because we have different powers of x, we have 12x to the second power, 59x to the first power. Notice that the power on this x, we're not seeing it. When we're not seeing it, it's actually a 1 there, so it's 59x to the first power. And we do not usually put the first power. We just leave it as just x. Okay, so it's 59x to the first power, written like this, just 59x. So they all have different powers of x. And it's a constant. So we have all unlike terms, so that's it for that example. I hope this was really helpful.